Algebra 2 1.8d Rules for Exponents, and this is going to be all of them in a nutshell. We've already done videos for these rules of exponents, and each one almost got its own video. So I thought I'd put them all into one so you could compare them and study them all at once. So for any integers, m and n, that's what we're going to use, okay? Here's the product rule when we have a to the m pow power, and it's being multiplied to a to the n power, it's going to just add the exponents. That's the product rule, just adding them. So when multiplying like bases, they both have a base of a, you just add the exponents. 2 to the third power times 2 to the fourth power equals 2 to the 3 plus 4, which is 2 to the seventh. We covered that in video 1.7 and 1.8a. There's going to be links in this video's description so that if you want to watch the videos, you can, okay? You can watch more about this. The quotient rule said, if we have a to the m power over a to the n power, that we just subtract them. When dividing like bases, just subtract the exponents. So this would be 3 to the 5 minus 3. It would be 3 to the second power. See? That was also in video 1.8a. All right? The zero exponent rule, this one gets really confusing for some people. It's in video 1.7 and 1.8a. You can just check this description. When a is to the 0 power, it equals a 1. You have to remember that whatever is inside of these parentheses is the base for that exponent on the outside, so this also equals a 1. When this is on, when there's no parentheses, then this is going to be a negative 1. It's going to, this 0 is going to make that a negative 1. And if this is a coefficient and then there's a variable, and an exponent of 0, then it makes the exponent a 1, and we have a times 1, or a. All right? You can watch these videos to get more about this. The negative exponent rule says that when we have a negative exponent, it makes a fraction. 2 to the negative third is a fraction of 1 over 2 to the third power, which means 1 over 2 times 2 times 2, which means 1 eighth. That was in video 1.7. Then there's the three power rules. The first one says when raising a power to a power, we just multiply the exponents. So if we've got a number inside of the parentheses and it's got an exponent and there's an exponent on the outside of the parentheses, we just multiply these two exponents together. See? This would be 2 to the 2 times 3. It would be 2 to the 6th power. That was in video 1.8b. Here's the second power rule. When we've got a and b inside the parentheses and it's got an exponent on the outside, we distribute this m to both factors inside the parentheses. So we have a to the m and b to the m. If we use real numbers, we have 2 times 3 on the inside of the parentheses. And this is to the fourth power. It means 2 to the fourth power times 3 to the fourth power. Video 1.8b also. And then here's the last power rule. If we've got a fraction inside a parentheses and an exponent on the outside, we distribute this exponent to both the numerator and denominator. You raise a quotient to a power by raising both the numerator and the denominator to the power, as long as it's not a, it's not a zero denominator, okay, because then it would be undefined. We've talked about that before. So if we had two-thirds inside a parentheses and it was being raised to an exponent of four, we would give that exponent to the numerator and the denominator, okay? So just be careful of parentheses. When you see a negative sign inside parentheses like this, everything in the red is the base. When there's no parentheses, then just the 4 is the base. And that exponent will not affect that negative sign. See? Remember, an exponent never changes the sign of the base. So this entire thing is the base. So we'd have negative 4 times negative 4 if it was to the second power. In that case, it would be a positive 16, wouldn't it? But this is the entire thing. What this means is it's talking about this. If there's a negative and there's no parentheses and then the 4 is the base, then it's going to stay a negative, okay? And you can watch the videos in 1.8 and 1.7 to learn about this, okay, if you want to go into more detail. Just follow the rules for signs if you're multiplying, adding, or subtracting integers. So if you're multiplying a negative and a positive, they're unlike, so you know it's going to be a negative 
exponent, okay? So just make sure you follow those rules for the integers, okay? All right, we're going to go on to 1.9, and we're going to start talking about scientific notation, all right? I hope it was helpful to have all of these on one board, and I thought maybe it would make it easier for you to study, all right? Maybe you can even take a picture of the screen, all right? See you next video. Bye.